I'm reading incoming drones. Not those fucking Themis things. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work. Forever, bro. Security breach. Drone reinforcements en route. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Yeah, but between his PMCs, his killer robots and all his fucking fans, Cass is unstoppable. He's gonna mark us and prove to everyone that we're the terrorists people say we are. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing.
What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being there IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep... Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Fucking pagan. One hit against his all-powerful military and now he's whinging like a little baby. Classic bully tactics. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. He scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. We had some thoughts about that, mate. Bagsy, bring it up, yeah? This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is gonna blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. investigation are you the police or not we are and I mean it exactly the way it sounds my friend was a journalist she was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS and seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book she may be in trouble she needs our help. Yeah, let's rock. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? If DedSec had her back, imagine the kind of shit she could stir. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something.
Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. Yeah, it was way too easy to find. We gotta leg it or else the wrong heads will find her too. To her. We could have really used someone like her. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You said it, Bags. We'll make those dickheads pay and honor Claire. Let's have a look. A lot of heads been through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Hold on, they supply Albion, yeah? Check out the graffiti, though. What's the deal? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Nah, there's something booky, though. This don't seem like them. The dicks that killed Claire took her gear but left this tablet behind. Bags, can you scan it? Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here. Transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... You security, drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it in a carousel. You, check that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is it. This is what we need to take down Cass. Bastard has to pay for what he's done. Claire, the whistleblower, all of it. Like the Albion gunner said something about Carousel. I think that means Carousel Plaza. That's Albion's propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. And there's also a lot of them around. Whatever. After what we've seen, I'm not going to let some Albion twat stop me. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we?
Just me. Watch it! 